Exercise three, adding the tain. Before you again, begin, again, stretch your hands and your fingers and your arms. Make sure that you are relaxed and loose. Hold your stav and tain without gripping tightly. A loose grip and flexible joints means that energy will not get stuck in your body, but flow freely as you stand or sit in alignment with the world tree. Your three roots firm. Begin to tap your stop with your tame. Tap, tap while it's resting on the floor. Up and down the stop. Notice the subtle differences in the sound. Tap with the stav off the floor. If there are any knots or curves in the stav, see how you can play with those. Lift the stav up and tap up and down the length of it, listening for the differences in the sounds and in vibrations through your arms and down your body as you use your tame. Now start a slow and easy beat with the stav. The one and tame taps two, three, four, one, three, four, one, two, three, four. Inhale for four counts. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Adding tain makes the Nauthis rune, the need fire. Now you know so the stav is Isa and connects to Niflheim, the world of ice, through Urzbrunner. Nauthis is the need fire and connects to the world of Muspelheim through. Mimirbrunner. Now, experimenting with ice and fire, creating ice and fire together, we are creating through the center of Ganungagap. We are saying ice, Isa, Isa, and fire, Nauthis, Nauthis. There are many pronunciations for these things, and you can say them in Scandinavian or English, switching back and forth as your spirit is moved to do. Isa, Isa. Now this, now this, now this. Now this needs now this needs now you can experiment with how many taps you do with your tain see how it affects your body and let the rhythm and breath determine the tempo it should flow freely You might mix it up a bit with the stav and tain, taking turns at making rhythm along with the chant. Remember that skuld is the Norn whose name means need and necessity, and it is through Ur, ice, and now this necessity that we create from the present moment, Vertandi in Ganungagap, the gaping boy. Nifal hem muspal hem ganunga gap urdu brunner mimir brunner vergomir vergomir
Isa. Now add your breath. Isa. Isa. Now, please. Now, please. Keep track of where your mind wanders as you relax into the rhythm. Follow the visual of your roots and spine and trunk and feel your branches, your hair, your arms. When you feel like it's time to stop the exercise, you strike the stav on the floor three times and give a little yip. Yip! This lets the environment know that you're releasing communion with it. It lets others in your group know that you are leaving the weave. Be sure to breathe into your physical surroundings and maintain connection with the energy that you've created. An advanced Stavantain exercise is the pulse. Pulse rhythm in Scandinavian music and dance is very ancient. It literally means the pulse and begins with the stav on the one, tain on the two, stav on the three. Repeating this rhythm takes practice. Always keep track of the one and resist the impulse to count the three as an upbeat. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two. It's a magical rhythm that awakens the Nordic soul in a deep way. We can always vocalize with it. And one of the most common ways of vocalizing with the pulse rhythm is just to let a tune come out of your head. It takes concentration to maintain, especially while singing. You can find a few Polska tunes on the internet or in Nordic Root CDs to practice this rhythm along with those pieces of music. But again, when you're ready to quit, <laughs> 